Hello and welcome back to another diecast review here. Um, this one I'm doing is probably one of my personal favorites and one of the most greatest, to me it's one of the greatest diecast um, and I'll explain why and I'll get to it here in a little bit but to me this is one of the greatest diecast I've probably ever owned in my collection. Um, it has a lot of meaning to me and it's got some sort of history with it because of what it means to me and the meaning behind it and um, really kind of what what it means, I guess, it's hard to put into words, but anyway, this die cast has a lot of meaning to me, and it's my top number one, um, so, yeah, this one definitely, this one I definitely love, and this one I will never part with, never, not even for, not even for a million dollars would I part, part, part away from this one, or part with this one, so, this one is mine, and will stay with me. But um, to prove a point, um, and the reason this one has a lot of meaning to me is because right here, maybe that'll give you a clue as to why this one has some meaning to me. And um, so yeah, this one definitely has some meaning there. But obviously, you can take away from what I just showed you there or you can probably figure out why but those are the tickets for that race of that day um, which means I saw this race live in person at Kansas Motor Speedway back in May of 2016 um, but anyway the car we're reviewing today is oh, here we are um, Kyle Bush's 18 M&M's, uh, Red Nose Race Win, uh, day, Red, Red Nose Day Kansas Win, 2016. It's a standard finish, but uh, there's the front of the box. And there's the uh, decal. Try and make that out there. It's a little difficult. And, uh, you know, then you got the back here and... And you got 2016. These boxes, I don't mind. I kind of like these boxes. Um, obviously, this one's a little right here. It was sitting somewhere for the longest time, and the sun kind of faded it. So the box is a little, a little wear and tear. It's a normal little wear and tear. Not a lot. Co corners are dinged up a little bit, but all in all, still in good shape. Like I said, standard finish. But anyway, this is the uh, Kansas. Uh, Kansas Red Nose Race Win from 2016, Kyle Busch. But uh, there's the box. Um, and then you also get the Race Win sticker. And then you get, of course, the confetti. Not very much, but a little bit. And then you got the, um, whatever you want to call these, like little hero cards or little cards that give you the specs and information and everything. So basically it was Kansas Speedway, Kyle Busch, Gold Bowling, 400 winner, Kansas City, Kansas, uh, May 7th, 2016. Um, tells you the time of race, two hours, 49 minutes, 20 seconds, starting position six, total laps, 267, number of cautions, six of 30 laps, um, number of leaders, 10, laps led by winner, 69, um, margin of victory, and then, you know, driver crew wins. Um, so anyway, but yeah, this is the card you get, or basically all the info on the, you know, the NASDAQ when it was NASCAR Spring Cup Series. So I really missed the Spring Cup Series um, back when they did Spring Cup. Uh, Nextel or basically Nextel when it was Nextel when it was NASCAR Nextel Cup and basically the Spring Cup Series I like them both so I'm really wish they wouldn't have got rid of that but anyway 
Um, yeah, so I got to see this one live in person. I saw him win it live, but anyway, here's the pride and joy. All right, boom. Now this one's got spectacular detail. I love this one down to a T because obviously it's got the cloth or whatever this mesh netting and it's not rubber like the old action ones or some of those action ones are rubbery and um, this one's like a feels like you know just I don't know what they would particularly call this material but anyway I like these better nice stiff and um, you know and then of course you know you got uh, all red nose all the red nose M&Ms or the red M&Ms and you got front looking here and then of course this is going to be tough I hate these can never get these hoods open there we are and then of course you got Toyota and you got the engine and not really impressed that like I said these engines are just cheap cheesy I mean, at least the hood looks nice. I like the hood detail, just the hood itself, but underneath, yeah, everything else underneath is a joke. And of course you got shitty ass Lino underbody, the chassis, which I don't like. But I like the fact that uh, they do give you a tire blown, which means he blew that tire when he did a burnout. And then they give you the effect of the whole rear quarter almost the rear quarter, part of the rear quarter, shredded like it was taken off. Yeah, it looks a little cheesy the way they did it, but still it gives it that burnout effect after he did the burnout and tore everything apart. And, you know, you got all the confetti, so, you know, all the confetti that flies out. So, yeah, it's, you know, the Camry, everything, Toyota, and all your contingency sponsors. Then you have, like, all the brush marks from where you hit the wall or whatever like debris stuff on the car and so yeah it's it's a really beautiful car one of my favorites so I, like I said this one I got to see him win it live and this one has some meaning to me so it's it's uh yeah one of my favorites but anyway uh um this DIN number is very low as well um not as low as the nationwide Stars and Stripes one I had just shared in the last video. That was 47, I believe. Uh, so it was under 50. I believe that was 47, like I said. But this one's actually a little bit more, but this one's under 100. And this DIN number is only 75. So there, yet again, another low DIN car. Um, one day I would really like to get an 18 door DIN. So I have a car that matches the DIN number, the number on the car, and the, for the, for those of you that don't know what a door DIN is, um, the, DIN, the DIN numbers on the back window here, um, these DIN numbers, if it's an 18, then it would represent what the car number is, so for you, the, for those of you who are new to the collecting or who don't collect or are new to watching these types of videos, that's what a door DIN is, um, but anyway, yeah, this one's my favorite car because it's got some meaning and it was special for me to see this one live in person so yeah this one's going to be in my collection forever and then to also to also go with the car um these are a little bit more meaningful as well because um some of these people were willing to uh give me some of them you know i had asked a few people and i th they were willing to uh you know, I found them somehow um, through friends or, you know, contact sources, but whatever. But uh, anyway, these right here were from, these lug nuts here are actually from this car. So I actually got some of the lug nuts from the car, which makes that even more special. So I got these lug nuts here from that race to win. But, uh, Anyway, yeah, that one's uh, got some meaning to me. Um, I won't part with it. Um, one of my favorite die casts. Um, 
really got nothing bad to say about it yet again though the only thing i'm gonna critique or say is i don't like the underbodies the chassis i don't like the engine detail um, i like the fact that the metal itself on the body for the die cast itself um, i like the fact that they got all the detail with the the confetti the graphics the paint you know everything like what it looks like but the only thing the tires i even like the fact that they put rubber it wore the rubber away like it did a burn you know when he was doing his burnout and then, you know i like that stuff but it's just those stupid chassis underbodies and it's the engine detail they don't put any more detail or work into that but yet it's just the car the body itself like all that i love that but this is a joke and underneath here is a joke if they could really pick up their performance or work on that at lionel or whatever I would start buying them more and more off the shelf, but back in the day, action were a lot better than what Lionel is now, but um, it is what it is. So um, anyway, uh, that'll do it for this diecast review. Hit that like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.